Hello everyone, it's me, the Real Local Maniac. I'm back again with another review here on my Local Maniac 1HMPS channel. Now today I'm going to carry on with my spooky and scary game reviews, where I'll be just playing games from the good old days that are somewhat scary. Now today I'll be playing Resident Evil Gaiden on the Game Boy Color. So yep, I'll definitely choose English. That was pretty impressive, considering this is a Game Boy um, Color game. Let's start this game. Let's start an E1. Now, I'm a big Resident Evil fan. Um, actually, I'm more of a big, big, big zombie fan, actually. I'm completely obsessed with zombies. Anything to do with zombies, I absolutely love. It's probably one of my favorite horror genres there is. Probably even more so than werewolves. So, yeah. When it comes to zombies, I absolutely love anything to do with them, and that's why I love playing games with zombies, in particular the Resident Evil series. Now basically, I have done a video of this game before on my old YouTube channel, but I thought, why not, let's try this game again, I've never actually finished this game. And what got me thinking about this game is, uh, two things, I'm going to go and see Zombieland uh, this weekend. Basically, I've been playing Resident Evil 5, which I've just played for about half an hour, which I'm getting really into. And I thought, you know what? Let's try this one. Now, I like the way the Resident Evil games have progressed over the, you know, the last couple of years. I finished Resident Evil uh, 2, 3, 4. Never finished 1 or Code Veronica, or some of the other ones. Hey, it's got Leon S. Kennedy from uh, 2 and uh, Resident Evil 4. Now, this Resident Evil game plays very, very different to the other Resident Evil games that are out there. I also believe there was a previous Resident Evil game on the Game Boy. I'm not sure whether it got canned or not. There was are, are footage of it somewhere on YouTube. And it plays very, very similar to the uh, ones on the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn. But with worse graphics. I'd like to get my hands on that sort of copy of it, to be honest with you. But this is a pretty good game. There's Barry Burton. He's all set to go, standing in the rain there, all dramatic with lightning in the background. That's what I would do, actually. That's what I do on rainy days, when there's lightning in the background. Just hang around like that to make myself look dramatic. Anyway, enough of the chit-chat. Let's begin this game. Barry, come in. Over. Copy. I read you. Over. Now, I find that really amusing for the fact that I like that episode of Family Guy when they got the walkie-talkies. But hey, that's got nothing to do with Resident Evil, so I won't carry on with that anymore. Now, like I was saying before, I love my uh, zombie films. Um, it's, it's probably one of my favourite genres. The Resident Evil uh, films I'm not particularly a great fan of. Maybe the first one because it looks nice. The story was kind of rubbish though. Well, I actually like the scene where, what's the name, Mila Jolovich uh, comes out of the shower. Some like nice little scene there. And I think she looks particularly hot in that red dress. Even though the, you know, the film's got nothing to do with the game. So I've just picked up some bullets there. And this is my PDA which will show me information to get around. Yeah, you know what guys, I'm absolutely looking forward to this Halloween. I cannot wait. It's going to be loads of fun. I've got a Halloween costume already, so all I need to do is find a damn party to go to. But anyway, I'll tell you what I'm going to dress up at some other video. Let's carry on this game. From what I remember, this game is pretty intense. It really is. I'm not sure if I've mentioned, but I did do a video of this before on my previous YouTube channel. And I thought I'd just give it another go. Alright. Let's begin. Now, I know, and you know, there are zombies in there. Now, I'd just like to mention before I go in there that not only am I rubbish at playing these games, but it's even extra harder because I'm reviewing and playing at the same time. So look, I'm making go left, making go right. Alright. Let's go in. Now, 
I don't know why Barry sounds so surprised there. What, you know, what's happened with these people. Because he's seen zombies before. It's not like he went onto that little boat, you know, to that ship, you know, on that little cruise vacation. He, he knew that something was up. Alright, I've got a time to try it. I've got to hit those blue things there. Shit, I'm running out of bullets. Come on! Oh, brilliant, he's dead. Now, I had a few practice runs of this. And, you know what? I couldn't do that. Come on. Aim. I tell you what, I'm doing pretty good. What have I got there? Oh, brilliant. More bullets. What's that? You try and run away in a bad so you must fire your weapon and hit the target in the middle. So I'm still trying harder. Okay. This game's pretty good. The music is a bit annoying though. You know what? I know there's zombies up those stairs. I've never been through here before though. Let's go through here. Go west, look for Leon. Apparently, gotta admit, Barry runs pretty graceful for a big tubby ginger guy, doesn't he? Look, hey. right, where am I going? What's that? Hey, some green herbs. Smoke that later. Oh, what a lovely picture. It looks like uh, Gomez from the Adams family. Fuck. Come on, die, zombie, die. Yeah, guys, Um, before I sort of uh, drift off, into another random rambling. I just like to oh fuck more zombies. Question is, where would you guys like to be if there was a zombie infestation, eh? I'd probably do exactly what they did in uh, Dawn of the Dead, shopping mall. That would probably be the best place to be. Ah oh, man, that fucker's still alive. They got me. Come on. Die. Die. Come on. Killed him. Shit, there's another one. Come on. Yeah, so where would you guys like to be held up? You know, if there was ever a zombie outbreak. Oh crap! Out of bullets! Alright. Thank fuck for that. That was lucky. Oh man! You know what? Time to uh, go for a quick jog. Ah, oh, you fucker! This game's well intense. Alright, I've got him. Come on. You know what? Can I go and hide in that corner? Yeah, so guys, I think I must be uh, reaching the limit of my um, YouTube time limit. I'd just like to talk about a few other things first of all, before I go. I will be releasing loads more scary and spooky videos some point uh, this week, leading up to Halloween as well. Keep an eye out for my podcast, 1HMPS podcast, which you can find on my blog. And there's um, a link to it on my YouTube channel. And you can find the podcast on iTunes. Just type in 1HMPS, which stands for the One Hour Monthly Podcast Show. And while you've got the chance, please check out the 1HMPS blogs. There's loads of fun and games and stuff on there. 
There's even actually a forum there now as well, where there's loads of games that you can play. The Return of the Retro Babe, we've got a new game called Pitch of Vat, and a bunch of other things. So guys, thanks very much for your time, and I shall see you again with some more videos in the next few days. Goodbye.